Rice like this only in restaurants for rich people, now I don't spend on restaurants, I prepare it at home in minutes. For today's recipe, we will start by preheating a wok or a large deep frying pan with 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can also use olive oil if you prefer. Then, once it is hot, we will add 2 eggs, the eggs should be at room temperature, and we will stir them with a wooden spoon while they are cooking. And when they look almost completely cooked, we will add a cup of rice from the previous day, the one that you probably have left over and have reserved in the fridge, and that you don't know what to do with. We will mix everything well to fully integrate both ingredients. Did you know that rice is the second most consumed food in the world after wheat? In addition, it helps us get energy and is high in vitamin B and also low in fat and is a powerful source of iron, iodine and magnesium. Then, we will add a can of mixed vegetables, we will stir everything very well. Today we leave a special greeting to Fabiola Lugo in Uruguay, Alejandra Martinez in Chile, Vanessa Cabrera in Miami, and Valentina Prieto in Quito. To give it that special restaurant flavor, we will season it with 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce and mix again very well. Tell me from which country you are watching us to give you a special greeting in my next video. And also, we will add 5 tablespoons of soy sauce mixed with a tablespoon of saffron or annatto powder. Leave me in the comments how they call saffron in your country, if you had ever used it for any recipe. We mix everything until the ingredients are fully integrated. It will look something like this. Then we will take 20 grams of fresh cilantro and cut it finely as small as possible. Did you know that cilantro contains antioxidant properties and reduces blood sugar? A good reason to include it in our diet. And we will spread it over our rice with vegetables. Leave me in the comments from 1 to 10 how this recipe is going for you. Also, we will incorporate half a can of green peas to give it more flavor and mix everything again very well. We will fry for about 5 minutes so that the flavors settle. And now you can forget about wasting that leftover rice from the previous day. A different and very delicious meal. Tell me if before you had leftover rice at home, and if you plan to apply this recipe now, and with whom you are going to share it. Remember that if you like this recipe do not forget to subscribe to our Facebook page, where I share easy and delicious recipes every day. Until the next recipe and enjoy your meal bye.